the launch of the world's fastest charging E3 wheeler. Uh, now this is in collaboration with Omega Seiki Mobility as well as Exponent Energy. So Omega is the auto manufacturer and Exponent is uh, handling the battery side of it. Uh, what's very interesting is that it can give you a zero to 100% charge within 15 minutes. And in those 15 minutes, uh, one can get a range of about 126 kilometers. So this is the fastest uh, that a battery can charge. Uh, uh, Currently, this will be available in terms of uh, the passenger side as well as commercial side. So this is easily going to be a very, very big uh, mover in those terms. I'm joined here by Uday Narang of Omega Seiki as well as uh, Arun Vinayak of Exponent Energy. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for joining us. Uh, uh, firstly, Arun, just take us through what uh, this vehicle is, why this vehicle, and then we can come to Arun for the rapid charging bit. Uh, sorry, we'll, we'll start okay. with you on... Yeah, uh, sorry, on yeah. Yeah. Um, look, uh, this is uh, the world's fastest three-wheeler, uh, you know, with 15-minute charging. It's got, uh, you know, one of the best technology batteries. Uh, it's one of the most safest batteries uh, in the country. Uh, it is, uh, you know, we are committing for two uh, lakh kilometer, um, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, warranty, five-year warranty, on the battery, you know, on the vehicle with an extended warranty, and I'll tell you later when we uh, launch the price, uh, it's unbeatable. I think that um, you know range, you know, uh, Modi is talking about is bar char so par, ham kare har bar char so par, in the sense that we can do unlimited range. Uh, whether you're at tea, whether you're at coffee, uh, whether you're having lunch, you can charge this, and you can the earning potential is so, so much, and the pricing is so effective. See, I, people say technology has to be expensive, but we are saying technology, which Arun's at Exponent and OSM has aligned together forces, will make prices more effective, and the winner is, you know, the end user, the men and women that drive these vehicles. And you have to understand, in India, that's where we need to lift this country up. We need those bottom level people earn a very high earning from these products. That's only when green energy and sustainability will come into existence. Right. Uh, thanks. Thanks for that. Today, uh, Arun, talk to uh, us a bit about the rapid charging technology. How is it possible to sort of do it in 15 minutes? Well, uh, to actually charge something in 15 minutes and ensure it lasts really long, mm -hmm. you've got to build a full stack. So it's, we're not just a battery company, we're not just a charging company, we're a full stack energy company. So on one end, while we build the battery packs and we, we partner with OSM, on the other end, we're also setting up the charging networks right. so the end user can actually go there, charge up, recharge like a refuel really and keep going. Right? Um, for us, uh, technology is, is obviously the base of everything that we do. Uh, but the end goal here is not just building performance and technology for the sake of it, it's about really economic unlocking the next level of economic uh, potential, right? And for us, it's engineering plus economics. Both have to keep firing. And uh, and and I think today, everyone loves EVs. Uh, it's faster, it looks better, it's yeah. got more torque. I mean, what's not a love over the vehicle, right? What's holding back people from adopting? Well, it takes too long to charge, a battery doesn't last long enough, mm -hmm. and the whole thing's too expensive. And that's what OSM and R aligned to ensure that we really unlock the next wave of can everyone go electric today, right? Yeah. What if you give you a 15 minute charging vehicle with a battery that lasts longer, a vehicle that lasts longer than IC engine vehicles? So then it's actually a vehicle that costs lesser than IC engine vehicle, earns as much as IC engine vehicle, it's as convenient as an IC engine vehicle. Well, yeah, let's all go electric. So. Super. Uh, uh, there, take us through, uh, so we know the pricing now, it's about 3.25 uh, lakh rupees. Uh, who, do you, who are you targeting with this? Uh, what are the segments that you see this going through? And what's the sort of demand you're seeing for the first, let's say, six months? Look, uh, you know, uh, I'll talk about, I know there's an election season, so they say sabka saat, sabka vikas. <laughs> we are looking to do vikas, but the vikas and the victory needs to be of those people driving three-wheeler passenger vehicles across the country. I mean, the demand is unsatiable. Um, you know, we see the current last year market was about six lakh vehicles, okay. which I think will go to close to a million vehicles in the very next two to three years. Okay. I think, um, you know, if you look at it, in ICE, 92% is passenger. Okay. We are gonna hit every city, but we're gonna start with Delhi and Bangalore. I'll give you an idea. In Delhi, you know, we've got, um, you know, 40,000 vehicles of uh, passenger three-wheelers, just to give you an idea. And there is gonna be, um, you know, the government has clearly said that CNG's out, diesel's out. We're gonna make this city more cleaner, greener. I think, why would not a CNG vehicle all in is 7,50,000 after, you know, after all the costs. Yep. You gotta stand in lines. 
I'm giving you at 325. Yeah. I give you the range. I give you the product. I give you everything that you need. Well, why would you not? Yeah. As a, and then in India, see, our goal, my goal, and I don't know also where we are aligned is, we want to make this country cleaner and greener. And this city needs to be there. So Delhi, Bangalore is where we're starting, and we're going to bring it later all across this nation. Um, for us, the demand, I, I don't want to talk projections, but I'll tell you, Delhi and Bangalore alone is so huge yeah. that when we get that, see, what the other most important point is, people will say a new technology, there will be problems. We want to prove it to the market. We want to give it to the market. We want to show that OSM and Exponent work. Um, it's not, you know, we, we don't need to show it, we know it works, but the customer benefit. And I think, as, as Arun tells me, every vehicle should be electric. And I think every vehicle should be exponent OSM. And I think we are going to work on that. We, we, we already at OSM are the third largest cargo player in the EV. We were the fourth largest passenger in the L5. And I think in this game, I think we're going we're gonna to really, really disrupt the market. And I think customer ki awaaz is going to show. And I think we would like to have you at the end of 24, 25 in April, and we'll show you the numbers. We do see a very substantial number. I think rather than map ko bolu, this number or that number, numbers on the board, cricket board or the baseball pit, you know, that's what matters. And I think we'll do that. Excellent, excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much, Arun. Thank you so much, Uday, for this. Thank, thank you. Thank you.